Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to New World here in Brimstone Sands, of course, to work on my side quests. And today we see Kabbalah. Yeah, okay. He's got actually a pretty nice dress on her. Yeah, actually, pretty nice fashion. What do you got for us? Behold! The glorious lamp of Osiris, Wayfarer. This sacred temple was once believed to be where the gods set the sun afire each day. Okay. The fallacy of our faith was exposed centuries ago. But the temple should still be ours. So if it's not yours, who controls it? The ancient Anubians, servant constructs to the ancients themselves. They prevent humans from trespassing. Okay. But it was we who helped build the temple. And though it is not divine, the spark of Osiris belongs to us. And what does this artifact do? You want me to retrieve this artifact or reclaim this artifact? Ah. So you aspire to walk in the steps of the heroes of old. I welcome your aid then. Strike down the Anubians and recover the sacred spark of Osiris from the lamplighter who ascends the ruins by day and goes below at night. So you kind of need to complete this quest in the daytime. And I think the day is kind of going down. But a thousand umbral shards, guys. That is a really nice reward. So let's accept it and see where we need to go. Probably into the temple and probably gonna be that dude over there i presume that we're gonna lamp lighter that we're gonna need to beat uh, so let's go around and see where we can actually most likely from the other side i'm gonna need to enter if you wonder where this is on the map it is here on this temple there's not a quest here but it's gonna be for the next episode most likely and it's probably gonna say our pirate ship or go in where we are going in. How the hell do we go in here? Am I gonna run around this temple before I actually? It's always the same with me. It's always the same. it's always the same. If I just walked through the left, I probably would have been able to enter. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I could have entered faster. Hey, dude, it seems you're trying to... Yo! Okay, 61. This might be a little more dangerous than I thought. Got a letter here. Behold our queen salvation. Oh, that's a long letter. The skies opened and the wrath of the gods had fallen upon us. As the storm raged outside and the ship pitched and rolled with the waves... So our queen writhed, righted, and tossed in her own struggle against the poison in her veins. I knew in my heart that the long shadow of Amith, Amith was upon us, and that we would soon be re returned to the abyssal waters of the Nun from which all life flowed. Then suddenly salvation came from within the fog. I beheld a man wrapped in linen with a crown on top of his head. In his hands he carried the crook, and flail of his office. And I knew that he must be the great Lord Osiris, father of all pharaohs, and judge of all that is mortal. All who dared look upon him knew he was not of our realm, for not even the guards dared to stir from their posts at his intrusion. Lady Charmian prostrated herself before him, pleading for his inter intercession. Session? Yeah, with our queen, our Cleopatra. So Cleopatra actually came to these lands. We were wondering about that in a previous quest as well. Uh, our Cleopatra, the daughter of Isis. His daughter. He proclaimed that he had been riven by Suthek, but that our queen's presence had roused him from the deathless Topar. And it seems we're going to need to scroll down a little bit. He would deliver her from mouth of the crocodile into the land of the reeds where she would reign forever. Lady Cherimon kissed the hand of our deliverer, and at his approach, a stillness fell over the queen. He took her in his embrace, and they both vanished in a flare of light. 
Outside, the rocking of the ship abated and the wind has grown quiet. I could hear the soft cackle of the gull far off in the distance. Holy crap, this is one hell of a story. <laughs> Tales of the Brimstone Sands. The Roman's journey. Behold our queen's salvation. That is that is one hell of a of a story. Holy crap. So Cleopatra did come to this to these lands. Okay, interesting. I wonder if Caesar actually came to this land as well, because Crassus is a pretty well-known historical figure. I, I cannot really... Yo! I cannot really place where Crassus actually came into play in Roman history. I know I read about him in some books. Yo! No! Seriously? Uh, let's do it. Like this then. If you wanna go ranged, I can play that as well. Okay, so we needed to destroy uh ancient Anubian six. So that's done. Oh, it seems we're gonna need to put up a proper fight here with a big dude. Not what we wanted to do. Let's clear out everything in the side first before we pull them. That was not necessary. Any guards on the left or right here? Radiant Reaver. I kind of want to clear out this place now. First time I've actually been here. It's actually always nice to see what else we can find in this place. Let's heal. And let's take you down as well. There we go. No chests here. Doesn't look like it. Got a doggy over there. Gonna clean out the other side first. Radiant Automa Automation. Radiant Psycho Chomp. The Psychopath. Yo. No. Yo. Close one. These dudes hurt. Dead if I don't pay attention. Yo, heal, 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 heal. Screw you, dude. Ooh, baby. All right, now this is more like it. This is a fight I'm enjoying. This is a fight I'm enjoying. Oh, seriously? Come on. Alright, let's go for this middle dude here. We got another note here. Kind of worried that everything's gonna respawn. The Blasphemous Musing. A pilgrimage is a bad time to entertain blasphemous thoughts, but here I am anyway. Osiris was unique among the gods for dying and rising again from the grave. We revered him for it, and Isis for her role in his resurrection. Which begs the question, if we also die and resurrect here in the land of the gods, what does that make us? More than human? Less than gods? Ooh, that's, that's some deep thought. Oh, it doesn't look like he's all that bad. And he's shooting fire at me. Yo! He does have a stun though. He does have a stun. Radiant Automaton. What are you gonna give us? I thought I dropped loot back. Oh, loadstone. Okay. And we find our first chest here. Okay. Pick up these dudes. the first dude that actually ancient jawbone what the hell is that used for yo he's down yeah we're almost clear the guys we're almost at the boss that we probably need to beat i do say probably is there a basement here holy crap there's a 
there a, is there a basement here? Radiant Reaver? Yeah, I kind of said I wanted to explore this place, right? Search for and defeat the lamplighter. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the dude outside. Yo, did you see us? He was he was twisting around like a Tasmanian devil. Holy crap! This goes this goes deeper. This goes deeper. Holy crap! Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Oh, nice, really nice. So. You kind of want to find all of these ancient glyphs because I noticed well uh, a while back now But if you go on these elite chest runs the chests actually all have a glyph uh, on them And if you don't have the appropriate glyph for them, you cannot open those chests So if you want to go on a solo run, you kind of well Solo runs are kind of sometimes well for some areas kind of difficult But you do want to have these ancient glyphs all unlocked I'm definitely happy that I actually came down here and looked uh, looked around a little bit. Uh, Aber and wisdom of the word is day for this one. All right, really nice. And that is the end of this location. We could go here, but I'm kind of worried if I go down that I cannot get back up. See what I mean? I'm gonna go for the boss, and after that, uh, we're gonna drop down and see what actually is there. Before I need to run around, like, from the outside back into the inside completely. Uh, before I can actually do this boss and get everything that is basically here. Respawn again. Let's pull the doggies. Can I pull the doggies? Yes. Yeah, stand on top of each other. That's really nice of you guys. That way I can take a review both at the same time. And here we got Lamplighter and a DT. An NGT. I have no idea. What. Okay. Oh, it doesn't seem all that bad. Before I say that. Got him. Yo! Oh, if I was lower on health, that explosion might have killed me. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god, yeah, do be careful when he dies, he actually explodes a little bit. Alright, let's, uh, I think we've got everything that we can find here. Let's go down, let's see what we can find there in the basement. And yeah, everything kind of is respawning on top of me. Really glad that I did this first. Apparently, there's a couple guards here as well. It's one down. Two down. Let's go in here. I said let's go in here. Sneaky sneaky. We got a young scorpion. Not really much. A couple young scorpions here. Okay, so they die when you walk on top of them. Doesn't seem to be... Just looks like you can get in here from the outside. Okay, let's check out the other side before we actually head back and hand in our quest. Is there anything of note here? Oh, there is a room. Look at that. Uh, what is this? I think an auric galcom vein that is here as well. Now the problem is, ah, I can't translate it. So this is where we actually need these glyphs for, guys. To open the doors, open the chests. Open sesame. Ooh, a, a little treasure trove. Oh, that's that's really nice. Ancient urn. Or ancient urn. And an ancient chest. We get what we get. Void gauntlet of the scholar. All right, let's uh, head back and talk to Kobala and tell her that we, well, basically have a relic and that we. Seems that there's only some scorpions spawning in here. Okay. I have not seen anyone challenge the Anubians as you have in many a moon. Indeed, the spirit of thy heroes of old lives on in you. 
Well, thank you. You have restored the spark to humanity where it belongs. Thank you. You are welcome, man. Thank you for the rewards. A thousand number of shards. Pretty good reward. Let's complete. And there we go. No follow-up and right in time because the sun is setting and she did say that he would vanish uh, in the nighttime. So you, I'm not really sure. I should actually test that out. Uh, see if he... Like he spawns right now. But if the sun goes down, is he gonna vanish as well? Let's uh, let's give it a little test, guys. Bringing our right back. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, she was right. I was I was almost gonna call her liar, liar, pants on fire, but she was actually right. Look at that. He's actually gone. So people who want to do this quest, you need to do this quest in the daytime, because in the nighttime you cannot find this boss. You can clear it out, but by the time maybe the boss spawns again, you have to clear it out again. Well, not maybe completely clear it out, but you know what I mean, right? Let's sit around down and end this episode up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression on my Let's Play here in New World or any other game I might play on my channel, guys, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.